hello guys and welcome to this new power bi tutorial in this video i'm going to create the following netflix dashboard we will learn how to define a background for both the report and the different charts how to change colors format the different charts by adding borders rotated corners as you can see we'll create donut chart two horizontal bar charts an area chart and the tree map we'll also create six cards for the different text and we'll import the netflix logo the links for both the data set and the logo are available in the description. But before creating our charts, let's first explore our data set. So in order to import our data, click on get data, text CSV. So like that, we have our data set. As you can see, we have show ID, the type. So we have either movie or TV show. We have the title director so we have some missing values for some movies or some tv shows then we have the cast next we have the country as you can see here there are movies and tv shows which have more than the country we have date added and we have the release year the writing duration so if it is a movie it will be in minutes if it is a tv show it will be in seasons then we have different genres so we listed in and the last column is a description for each movie or TV show. So we click on load. As you can see here, we have errors. So we click on view errors. So you can click on remove rows and remove errors. Okay. Now we go back to our report. So we close this one. Yes. And here we have our data. So now we click on report. And the first thing that we are going to do is that we put background in black. So go to here, format your report page. Canvas background. We select black and transparency 0% okay next we go to view page view and it is fit to page and we are going to create our first chart which is the donut chart so go to filters and on netflix titles we drag and drop the type into filters on all pages we press control key, we select TV shows and movies. We close that and we close this one. So we click on donut for the values which we can drop show ID into the values. And we select count distinct. And for the legend, which we can drop the type and put it in the legend. So like that to get our donut chart for TV shows and movies. And now I'm going to format our chart. So click on the chart. Same thing, we click in here, format the visual. We go to general. On effects, we select background in black. Visual border on. And we put it in white with rounded corners 20. For the title, I'm going to put it in red. So we select the colors, so we click on more colors and we select red, this one. We put it in the center, 16, and we name it TV shows and movies. Okay. Now for the title, we put divider on and we put it in white okay now go back to visual for the legend text it will be in white right for detail labels same thing we put it we put the values in white all right so we close this one close this one and for the slices so for movie you put it 
in red and for TV show we select this color okay and we can put it like that in the center okay so like that we have our first chart which is the donut chart for TV shows and movies next we are going to create a horizontal bar chart for writings by total titles so click on horizontal bar chart on the y-axis which we can drop the rating and put it in the y-axis on x-axis we are going to drag and drop show ID and we put it as count distinct so same thing we are going to format our visual so go to here format the visual for the y-axis titles off the colors in white same thing for the x-axis so for the title off and for the values in white okay now go to general effects background in black visual border on and it will be white 20 go back to the title so we have ratings by total titles and it will be in red 16 in the center for the divider it will be on and it will be in white okay now if we click on visual bars and we select the color in red okay so just increase like that and we put it in here okay so like that we have our second chart which is the horizontal bar chart for ratings by total titles we can just add the labels same thing with the format there are labels on and we put them in white okay next we are going to create our second horizontal bar chart for generous by total titles same thing we click on stacked bar chart for the y-axis we are going to select list in for the x-axis show id as count distinct now we are going to format that y-axis title off and the color in white x axis the same thing in white general for the effects background in black the border in white with 20 for the title same thing we are going to write generous by total titles it will be 16 and it will be red in the center the divider on in white okay and also click on visual for the bars it will be in red okay Use it like that, and I'm going to add the labels so labels on in white. All right, so like that, we have two horizontal bar charts and the donut chart. Next, we are going to create the area chart for total movies and TV shows by release year. So, click on area chart on the x axis, which we can drop the release year. On the y-axis show id as count distinct and on the legend we drag and drop the type now i'm going to format our chart so click in here for x-axis we set the title off and the values in white 
same thing for the y-axis title of and the values in white for the lines color so movie we select red and TV show we select this color now we add the background so click on general effects and the background in black visual border on it will be white and 20 all right so close this one go back to visual so close X axis Y axis for the legend text it will be in white and go back to general for the title it will be 16 and total movies and TV shows by release year it will be red in the center divider on and it will be in white okay so we put it in here like that all right it's like that to get our area chart for total movies and TV shows by release year next we are going to create our tree map so click on tree map for categories which we can drop the country into category and for the values which we can drop show ID in values and we select count distinct on the filters for country we click on the filter type and we select top n here we select 10 drag and drop show id into by value and it will be the count distinct apply filter and we get the top 10 so close this one now i'm going to format our tree map okay so on general effects background it will be in black and the border in white 20 okay for the title same thing it will be in the center red 16 and it is top 10 countries by movies and TV shows okay we we'll close this one close this one back to visual and for the labels on so it is the color is white okay now close this one and for the colors we are going to change the colors for United States we put it in red for India we put it like this color so for the third one as you can see here we have null value so right click exclude all right so third one it will be united kingdom same thing we choose this color same thing for japan and for canada then we have south korea okay and for the last ones we have the color okay i put it like that all right so here if we come back to the general and for the title we add the divider and we put it in white okay and like that we get our tree map for top 10 countries by movies and tv shows Next, we are going to insert the Netflix logo. So click on insert image. So here we have the logo. And we click on general for the effects visual border in white. Same thing 20. All right. And now we are going to decrease. Okay. So put it like that in the center. 
all right and now i'm going to add six cards so here we have the card so click for the fields i'm going to start by total titles so we draw a control of titles in here and we select count distinct i'm going to format that so we remove category label on general title on and we select total titles it will be 20 in red in the center all right now for the effects background in black we'll close this one we back to visual color value and we select white in 30 okay now if we go back to general for the effects the border in white and 20 okay now we decrease the size like that all right and now what we are going to do is that we are going to copy and paste that five times so press ctrl c then v one two three four five so one put it in here I have the second one so decrease the size a little bit same thing for this one same thing for this one so decrease the size okay all right add another one in here decrease the size and the last one here same thing we decrease the size a little bit and we decrease for this one okay now i'm going to modify our cards so the second one it will be the total ratings so draw a control rating into the fields and we select count distinct same thing we change the title so it will be total ratings okay next we have total generous so here we write generous and we click in here for the fields we select listed in as count distinct next we have start year or start date as minimum of release year minimum and the title will be start date okay this one it will be the end date and it will be the maximum of release year right and the last one it will be the locations so we drag and drop country into the fields as count distinct and the title it will be locations all right now if we close this one and close this one as you can see here we get our final dashboard for netflix movies and tv shows so that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you have learned new things. Thanks for watching and see you in next tutorial.